Remember Project Merlot? Well, it is still looking as good as the day it was painted. I think it was over a year ago now, or was it two? I can't remember. Just come up to the holiday cottage at Charlotte's building and the view is amazing today. You can see for miles, all the snow as well on the hilltops. It's a bit chilly, but we'll go and have a look inside anyway. This is the view from inside now. Charlotte is about to start clearing the windows because obviously they've got all the building muck on them. That's the kitchen. This is going to be the living room, but the dining table's there out of the way. But that's going to live somewhere there. Zoom out a bit so you can see better. All them doors all open up. Red lights. What are you two whispering about? Um, then there's a bathroom here. Nearly finished. Just a few little bits to finish off. This is a bedroom. Just waiting for the rest of the furniture. Another bedroom. And then this goes through to a bathroom as well. But then you can also come out the other side. So we've gone in there, I've come out of there. Then it's probably like the master bedroom because this one's got its own ensuite. Big clean up operation. And when you wake up in the morning, you've got that view. And then out onto the patio. So when a furniture arrives, she can take the pictures and do the website. You happy? <laughs> This is where the hot tub and the shelter's going for it. So when you sit in the hot tub, you can enjoy the view. It is so cold today. I thought it'd be colder up at Sadlerworth when I was at Charlotte's, but I think it's actually colder in the yard. There's a real chill, there's ice in the puddles. Glad we covered up that concrete last night to protect it, because if it has got a layer of moisture in the top of the concrete, and it freezes and the water expands, it will just blow it and it'll just mean that the top will just be forever dusty and not be a particularly good seal service. So glad we did that. It'd be nice if we can get the roof on this week. Not sure whether we will. We've got a little bit of tidying up to do on Monday because we've got, they've got the Metro Mayor coming and he wants to talk about farming in the area because although it's we're in a city and we've got like quite a few, you know, I think he's over in Manchester as well, city region. There is agriculture. I think the council are also going to come out with them as well and see what goes on on a farm. So we're going to show them around. But we could just do with tidying up. I know we tidied off the track from, but there's buckets and stuff everywhere and mud. And yeah, so I don't know whether we'll get that roof on on Monday. Probably not. And I don't think we'll get a chance on Tuesday. But we do want to get that roof on this week. Anyway, I think I'll probably do the burpee bumper while I'm passing the spray before my fingers freeze off because I haven't got any gloves on. And then we'll see if we can catch people out again and do a double birthday bumper. I'm not really going to do a two-part birthday bumper. I just thought it was funny yesterday to those that fast-forwarded it and then thought they'd got away with it and then it come back on. But anyway, here's today's birthday bumper. So we've got El Ellen Wynn Rogers is 23. Jake Halpin is 13. Elliot Bailey is 13 as well. Random. Loads of people are 50. Nick Barlett's 50. Barry Wagstaff. Dominic Red Titan Potts is 6. Sarah Wilkes is 50. Beth Stanford's 26. David Hathaway is 50. And also, just to make it interesting for those who don't like the birthday bumper, happiness is not by chance, but by choice. So I thought I'd put an inspirational quote on it. I might even start putting some jokey names on it as well to make it a little bit more interesting for those that find this bit boring. But I'm sorry it's staying in because £23,450 for the Air Ambulance raised in, I think, eight, nine months is amazing. So that is why we do the birthday bumper. This was yesterday's quiz question and loads of people got it right. It is a hydraulic burring puller. So that burring that's from the boiler, Rob tried to get it off the other day when we were on the health and safety course, couldn't get it off, it's too stuck. But, but what basically happens with this is, when you screw this screw in at the top, it squashes oil or grease, which then turns into hydraulic power to push out that ram. Now we did used to have another one where the thread was smaller and it pushed a smaller piston and then that was a bit fatter. 
but I still think this is supposed to have 10 tons worth of force. I think the other one was 15 tons. Someone said it's it's a cheap one. It, yes, it was cheap. It was off if it was off Amazon, but I think they're all made pretty much in the same part of the world, just like COVID was perhaps. But yeah, that is um, going to hopefully get the burn out off the boiler, and then we can get it fixed and up and running. The other one that was similar broke because we put heat too close to it and broke the seals in it. And then another one that we had that was massive, if you remember when we were trying to get that gearbox off the mucks by the last sort of springtime, we broke it in the process. So we haven't had one for a few months. So we've got this now anyway, and hopefully it'll work. Good news, the new mirror arm is in that I was trying to change yesterday. Problem is, I didn't have time to pick it up before the shut this morning because I wasn't down here. I was up at Charlotte's mum and dad's. So we'll get that sorted on Monday, hopefully. We haven't done the cool wall for absolutely ages. And yesterday, Joe Seals got a new 215 John Deere and Tom Pemberton got a new Hurleyman or new to him Hurleyman. Where would they come on this wall? Sub-Zero cool, uncool, serious uncool, cow spec. Let us know in the comments. Now we did say me and Tom were gonna to do a live video. We were gonna get a load of pictures and we were gonna do a cool wall on a live when we next finished his bucket brush off. Problem is he's been that busy concreting and building things and stuff like that we haven't had time to finish his bucket brush off but we will have to do it soon because it's still in our yard and he's paid for it and he obviously wants to use it on his new concrete so when he does we'll do that so let us know any suggestions of tractors that we can print out pictures of to put on the cool wall and also let us know where you think joe's tractor should come and tom's new one should come i'm just in a workshop looking for a silicon gun for this to fix that door anyway i don't know who's done that Probably Ian, because he's the only one that knows how to work the sticker machine properly, but I think that's quite funny. <laughs> Obviously, it's impossible to use that. Still waiting for the gearbox, but I can't find the silicon gun anywhere. They, they're normally hanging up on the side of the bench, but we do need to spend a couple of days in this workshop tying up, and we're actually thinking of putting, so we've got that little shelf up there, like a mezzanine, and we've got all the Christmas light stuff up. We're thinking of putting another one from across this corner here, because it won't get in the way of stuff and we can get a bit more things that we don't use that often off the floor, out the way. But yeah, the silicon gun has gone walkies. They don't make them like they used to though, so they do break quite a bit. Found the silicon gun, but can you see it's twisted here? This is the problem with them. They just don't make them like they used to. Anyway, I'm gonna put it in the vise and try and straighten it before I go and do this door. It's quite satisfying watching that squash back together, actually. Hopefully that'll work better. When they bend there, they like lose the throw. So when you pull the trigger, they don't do a lot. And I think it's when you put tiger seal in them. I think you're supposed to use a real strong one when you use tiger seal in that holds windscreens in. These new lights aren't that good for filming under, are they? Because they're too bright for the lens. Let's keep your phone up higher. Right, let's go and fix this door. Yeah, when it's blowing, it's blowing water in here. So like it's got silicon all around the edge. But for some reason across the top, there's not. It's a dead bee there or wasp or something. So come along the top there and hopefully that will fix it. That's it. Uh, should stop it anyway. I always seem to get more silicon on what I don't want it on and me than what I'm actually trying to silicon. But at least the weather won't get in it now. Same as painting really. I always end up with more paint on me than what I'm trying to do. There's some people that are like, Got the patience to do it and and one that hasn't got the patience to paint or put silicon on things now i need to thank everybody for watching mainly because there's a website called social blade which basically tells you all the analytics around youtube channels and instagram channels and stuff like that anyway the other night i was bored and i was looking at the views that i was getting which you can now see on the screen the income, I wish, was correct. If the income was correct, I would have bought a new chipper. But that's wildly out. But the views is real. It's what it compiles, pulls it all off YouTube. Anyway, I thought, oh, Millennium Farmer, biggest farmer I know on YouTube. I thought, I'll have a look how his views have been going in the last 30 days. 
you know, for an arable farmer, I think I've got the most views in the world on YouTube at the moment, which is absolutely amazing. So I need to thank everyone for doing that. A lot of it is probably because loads of people have been watching the video of the water splash with the Zerion. But even so, there's still a lot of views of people watching every day. So thank you everyone that's watching the YouTube channel because it just means that it's growing, which is great. And it, I'm still enjoying doing it. And the more it grows, the more I'm enjoying it as well. So that's so thank you everyone for that. And don't forget you watching is helping pay for that sprayer and some of them classic tractors in that shed as well. So more to come this year hopefully as well we're going to get that zeri on track to pull in. there's a charity dino night coming up as well for our local young farmers so we're going to see if we can fit it in there see if they'll let us come even though i'm a bit old but we'll try and take the zeri onto that and put it on the dynamics and see what it's putting out anyway that is probably all for today if you've got any guest outros don't forget send them over on instagram messenger and i'll put them on at the end i used to get loads but not had any sent for ages well that'd be good if you've got some and uh, i'll see you all tomorrow